Hi, and welcome to the CA Deliver Checkpoint and Dynamic Report Enhancements session. First, we're going to talk about our Dynamic Report Performance Enhancements. CA Deliver Dynamic Reports have been enhanced to use less storage, which also reduces the overall CPU time to generate the report. Dynamic reports are temporarily closed to free up database buffers when a dynamic report is not receiving page data. The new temporary close function writes current subfile data buffers, freeze buffers, freeze channel program, but leaves SFB control blocks allocated. The new temporary open function reobtains subfile data buffers, reobtains channel program storage, and retrieves current subfile data blocks. The new temporary interface allows CA Deliver to temporarily close direct to view reports, calls the temporary close interface to write and free buffers. Write and close interfaces are changed to automatically open temporarily closed subfiles. CA Deliver temporary close interface now supports the temporary close of direct to CA view reports. Why less storage is used for dynamic reports with temporary close? REPT distribution specification entry identifies the name of the dynamic report. CA view direct to view report is open for each unique dynamic report name. One report name per REPT entry per page. When the dynamic report name changes, the previously active dynamic report is temporarily closed. Only one direct-to-view report has active buffers instead of all direct-to-view reports. Our second item we're going to talk about is our checkpoint enhancement. CA Deliver checkpoint file maximum size has been increased to 200 cylinders. The previous maximum prior to release 12.2 was 42 cylinders. Half was for the checkpoint data and half for the recovery. Up to 3,872 blocks, four blocks for checkpoint lock record, and change block maps for 32 CPUs and recovery. Up to 15.4 meg of storage needed for the checkpoint in started task and online. With the new maximum starting at release 12.2, we now allow for the checkpoint to be 200 cylinders. Half again for the checkpoint data and half for the recovery. We now allow up to 18,000 blocks, up to 19 blocks for checkpoint lock record, and change block mask bytes, and the size is dependent on the cylinders and up to 73.7 meg of storage is needed for the checkpoint in started task and all nine. Just a couple notes here. You can use the make checkpoint to resize your current checkpoint. You must resize the checkpoint to 42 cylinders or less when reverting back to pre-12.2 release for deliver and the compatibility PTFs to older releases will not allow access to large checkpoints. We also have a new DB Thresh initialization parameter which allows specification of checkpoint threshold, checkpoint critical threshold, and database threshold. Our syntax is as follows, which is DB Thresh equals CC comma DD. CC is the starting checkpoint threshold percentage. DD would be the database threshold percentage. You'll see here our default parameter values are 80% and 80%. As before, messages are displayed when the specified threshold values are exceeded. Additionally, the CA Ops MVS event will be issued at the specified starting percentage and we'll talk about the CA Ops MVS in a future slide. We've also added a new health check. The new health check is for the checkpoint utilization. If the utilization is less than specified in RMO PARMS, you'll get the message that's RMOH003I, 
which states CA Deliver Checkpoint Utilization is Normal. If not, you'll receive the RMOH 003E as an Edward message stating CA Deliver Checkpoint Utilization is currently at NN%. As noted previously, we discussed CAOPS MVS events. We have that now for the high checkpoint utilization. Our application ID is Deliver. The event is RMOCPT05. Our variables are API.text, which is the informational message related to the event, and the API.database is your database high level qualifier. The intent of this enhancement is to allow a rule to be set in CAOPS MVS to automate the submission of a job to attempt to relieve the checkpoint of space. This concludes our CA Deliver Checkpoint and Dynamic Report Enhancement session. I thank you for your time and have a great day.